Thank you. Thanks very much. I'm Linda Chavez. I've served in a number of administrations. Thank you. You know, it is less than three weeks since the slaughter, the vicious slaughter, the killing of more than 1,400 people in Israel when Hamas crossed over and uh, attempted uh, to engage in a kind of genocide. And all of our eyes are focused now as uh, troops are gathered uh, on the border of Gaza and we are wondering what the next step is, and many people are hand-wringing and saying, well, even if Israel succeeds in, what, uh, in wiping out Hamas, what comes next? Well, that's a good question, actually, because Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. Hamas, Hamas, Hamas represents their leadership uh, in Iran. And in fact, without, without Iran, there would be no Hamas, there would be no Hezbollah, there would be no Islamic uh, Jihad. So all of the questioning that has been occurring in recent days about what role Iran had directly or indirectly in the attack on Israel, to me is beside the point. They are in fact the progenitors of these organizations. And we will not have peace in the Middle East until we deal with the situation in Iran. And that can only be done by regime change, by removing the Ayatollah. And I will say to those here gathered with the National Council of Resistance of Iran, I have worked with the MEK and the NCRI for decades. It is an organization that has aspirations for democracy for the people of Iran. Madam Rajavi has put out a 10-point plan which in fact uh, would give civil liberties and civil rights to the people of Iran and would allow the people of Iran to choose who their leaders will be not for others, not for a theocracy uh, to rule that country. So I think as we look at what is happening in the Middle East, we cannot take our eyes off of what is happening in Iran and the legitimate aspirations of the Iranian people. Thank you very much.